Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna give my review to the course Advanced CSS and SAS Flex for Kit Animation and more by John Schmatton. Let's get started. But one problem I just wanna give you guys, especially to you know applies to beginners as I am. Don't be a bad developer. What does it mean? There is a list of bad habits that John Schmetter said in the course of the complete JavaScript. We checked out. And what exactly it means? For example, on the aspects of bad developer is uh, that bad developer goes to the project without thinking. And that's really not the best idea. <laughs> and uh, I just took the course three times. I mean this current course and uh, the last one is this month and to be honest I did only products because after the, you know the, after the completion of the last code uh, JavaScript I started you know coding CSS layout of the website and I couldn't it terrified. That's why I just retook the course to, you know, to recap some knowledge of my CSS. And I did it. And uh, I'm gonna right now to discuss about what exactly, what kind of projects we did, not about the, lec the lectures, I mean, not lectures, sorry, because uh, I didn't retake it, but it's really important to watch it because it tells behind the scenes, behind the scenes of CSS, for example. And it's really important why specifically you choose this one, why exactly it works in that way, and so on and so on. So, let's talk about the first project that uh, I have done in the, pro in the course. And it's called Natures. And what exactly it is I'm impressed with, uh, along we have done with this project? The animation. Yes, absolutely. The animation was really cool. Right now you see buttons just moving, or just uh, navigation, and without JavaScript. Can you imagine that? A lot of people do it with JavaScript, but you can do it without JavaScript. I think it affects the performance, and if you do this with CSS, it, it doesn't take, you know, just, it doesn't take so much time. Not so much. It doesn't. I, I think so. It's not so long if you do if you if you do in JavaScript too. And the animation of the project button and so on, and the clip of the background is amazing too. The the cards. Look at that. Wow. That's crazy. When you, for example, I tap uh, book now and it will just pop out a a pop up window and it's cool <laughs> without JavaScript that's crazy and there is a form so it's so beautiful to be honest it's really you know just a real project wow and another one really important I just want to talk is uh, the responsiveness of this website it was really important and you really can see what I now you see anyway it looks very well on all devices, I think so. It's crazy. So, our next project is called uh, Trilo. It was built as a layout on only, not most of the time, I think, so I don't remember exactly, on the Flexbox. It's really important. The last, the last project that we are talking about, that nature, it was built without Flexbox and Grid. It was built just uh, in that way that was built all websites just 10 years ago. But this project was built uh, in that way that most of the developers built new websites. The, the, there's a problem in this website, you don't see any icons here. Because it, I had some problem with the password and the password will be run next time. It will automatically delete them and yeah, sure. I don't know, I just looked for the answer, I just solved it, but anyway, it, it didn't help. But it's not so important. It's, you know, to be honest, it's not so big as project, but still, you know, you see the difference how exactly we need to build. The animation is kind of fun, the sides totally applies. 
and just see how that how's that get to build um, Flexbox with this website. That's cool. So next project we will build uh, with the help of CSS Grid. And uh, yeah, to be honest, after that I only use CSS Grid. Sometimes I use CSS Flexbox, but Grid is you know uh, with the help of the you know when you can add um, gap between rows and columns. It's you know a game changer. <laughs> And here, what's really interesting, the layout, I would say. How is like if we did it? It's not so, you know, just checked out. It was uh, the big, on the bigger screen. You see that the, the sidebar on the left side, and then we just uh, narrow down the screen, and it goes above. And to do that, it doesn't take so much. With major, major queries, it does help. Everything is completely fine, easy to do. For us, very important to to grid to make it, you know, the grid for the website, and that applies to to these features. You can see, and um, to these cats too. There is not so crazy animation. No, it's only about it was about. Um, well, this is a grid. I like it to build, and to be honest, it. it it was only about 20 lectures, 20 lectures to build all of that. To build the first lecture, it took, oh my god, it was first lecture, okay, we had to learn a lot of things, but anyway, yeah, sure. Well, we just, you know, I'm, 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 I'm looking at the partition and just kind of, wow, that's cool. I would like to give a recommendation to new beginners of this course, of the world of web development. Take this course. You can take the NASA course. Uh, it was uh, updated in this month, I think. So responsive HTML and CSS something. I don't remember the name. I just put the here or the link or something or under. You can take a start with that. But after that, I do. I really recommend start with the, this project with this course. But if you finish with the project, you have to do projects. But I recommend to at the same time learn the JavaScript. Take uh, the, uh, the next course of the Jonas Schmetzman. If you don't like it because of the, his uh, teaching style, it's a little bit you know too complicated JavaScript because JavaScript is complicated compared to the CSS. JavaScript is a programming language. This is not and HTML too. <laughs> so and at the same time, we have to do some projects because of the projects that you have done in the course. It's fine, but. You have to do by yourself some projects alone, and I'll give you the there is a website, the cool website. I use a lot of projects uh, from them. The, the design of the website it's called from the master or something like that. I will put the link uh, in the description. You can check it out. Then you can find me there too. And I will uh, put the uh, put uh, the links of the websites I talked to you in the description too. You can check that definitely. And it's really was doing that. I really recommend, uh, you know, just after the course, you just, it's long journey to be honest. But if you just try it, truly believe it, you can do that. Don't try to do everything right now as I do. I just want to right now to do, but it doesn't work in that way because it takes time. Thank you for watching the video because it means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. And if you like the video, you can just give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I wish you all the best in your journey.